Thank you for purchasing the Next Engine 3D Scanner HD. In this user guide, we will walk you through the installation of software and hardware driver, licensing, the scanning process, and our Next Wiki Support Center. Software installation. The recommended PC configuration for operation of the scanner and software consists of a dual-core, quad-core, or i7 processor, four or more gigabytes of RAM, a dedicated graphics card with a minimum of 512 megabytes GPU, and Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7 64-bit. To download the software, visit www.nextengine.com slash start. Click on the first link to download the software and enter your email address and password. This should have been sent to you in your shipment confirmation email. Select Scan Studio HD to start the download. If you do not have an HD scanner, click on the designated link to download the proper Scan Studio Core version. Click on Save. Choose where you would like to save the file and click Save. The installation may take a few minutes. When the download is complete, click Run. You may also download Scan Studio at the Next Wiki Support Center. Go to the download section to access the most recent versions of Scan Studio HD. When the Next Engine Scan Studio HD setup wizard appears, click Next. Read through the end user license agreement, select Accept, and then click Next. It is best to use the default location for the install. All three components should be selected for installation. Click on Install. If you are a Windows XP user, you may need to download and install .NET 3.5 to run Scan Studio HD. If this window appears, accept and click on Install. Complete the .NET 3.5 installation. Your computer will then restart and the Scan Studio HD installation should resume. You may be prompted to disconnect your scanner during the installation process. Click Finish to automatically launch Scan Studio HD. Plug in your scanner to begin the driver installation. Driver installation. If the hardware wizard opens, choose to install the software automatically and click Next. Then click Finish. You may be prompted to allow driver installation. Click Yes to install the Next Engine drivers. Online licensing. To activate Scan Studio HD after installation, you will be required to sign in into the Next Wiki Support Center with your email address and password. If your computer is not connected to the internet, you can follow the offline licensing procedure. Click the on-off buttons to activate your software. Offline licensing. If your computer does not have an internet connection, you will see this page. Access the licensing website on a different computer with internet access where you will be asked to enter the machine key and security code as shown here. On the License Setup website, you will be prompted to enter your email and password. Then enter the machine key and security code exactly as they appeared. Click Get License. You can download the license file immediately and a copy will be sent to your email. Transfer the license file to your offline computer using a USB drive, close Scan Studio HD, and double-click the license file to activate your software. You are now ready to start using Scan Studio HD. After activation, the scan arrow will be green if the scanner is plugged in and detected by the computer. 
Getting Started with Scan Studio HD. When navigating your way around the interface, use the left button on your mouse to rotate, hold down both the left and right together to pan, and the right button to zoom. Hold down the center scroll to rotate without selecting. Scanning the first 360. Click on the green scan arrow to enter the scan panel. Name your scan in the yellow bar at the top of your screen. Under Positioning, choose 360. Move the slider to 8 divisions. Since the scanner works based on line of sight, highly undercut objects may require more divisions than those with less complex geometry. Choose the first notch in HD speed. Then select a target setting based on the color of your model. For the palm tree, select Neutral. Choose the macro range and check with a ruler to make sure the face of the object is the proper distance away from the scanner. The memory and time estimates are shown here. View tips for scanning here. Select a region of interest by dragging the cursor around the object. Click the rotation and step buttons to preview the rotation for ideal positioning. Click the green arrow to start the scan. Single Family Alignment After your scan completes, you will be automatically taken to the alignment mode to assemble the first 360 degree scan. Drag and drop or double click to place the red pin on scan A1. Then drag and drop or double click to place the other red pin on scan A2 at the same location. Click Attach Scans after placing one red pin on each scan. Your model is now aligned. Click Up to see Families and click Back to exit the alignment mode. Trimming. Click Trim to start removing unwanted data. Use the Rectangle Selector tool. Drag the cursor around the unwanted data to select it. Continue selecting data until all unwanted data is highlighted red. Click Trim to remove the selected data. When you are finished trimming, click back to exit the trim mode. Observe areas where additional data is needed to complete the model. Click the scan arrow to enter the scan panel for the second 360 degree scan. Scanning the second 360. Reposition the object on its side to capture the missing data without moving the auto drive. Use the same settings as the first 360 scan. Click Start to begin the second 360 degree scan. The second 360 scan should automatically align as long as the auto drive has not moved since scanning the first one. If it is not aligned, you will be asked to perform a single family alignment. Click Trim to start trimming the second 360 scan. Select the Park Ripper and unwanted data using the Rectangle Selector tool. Then click the Trim button to remove the data. When trimming is finished, click back to exit the trim mode. Multi-Family Alignment Click Align to enter alignment mode and align the two 360 scans. When aligning multiple families, you will need to place three pins. Drag and drop or double click to place the red pin at the same location between the two 360 scans. Repeat the process with the yellow pin at a different matching location. And repeat again with the blue pin at another location. It can be helpful to change the viewing mode to solid during alignment. You can then use the geometry of the object to help find common locations for pin placement. Space out the pin placement as much as possible. Click Attach Scans to align the two 360 scans. Your model is now aligned. Click back to exit the alignment mode. Fusing. Click Fuse to enter the Fuse mode. 
This will combine the multiple scans into a single mesh. Click Fuse to finalize your model. A new family containing only the fused result is created. Click back to exit views. Your scan can be viewed in four modes, texture, solid, mesh, and point. Output. Click output to export the model. Choose the file type you want to export. You can also export through the File Save As command. Choose the file type to export. Name the file, choose the units, and click Save. Next Wiki Support Center. Click the Support button to enter the Next Wiki Support Center. The Next Wiki is an interactive support site. Here you can find the full user manual with step-by-step -step instructions for operating the scanner in Scan Studio HD. Click to print a PDF of an individual wiki topic or the entire manual. Click the Ask button to chat with an applications engineer. Title your chat and click Create to start chatting. You can post screenshots or your entire model to show us what you're scanning. The next wiki contains everything you need to update your account, view your available software, and access your chat history. Our applications engineers are here to help, so please feel free to contact us with any questions. Thank you for choosing NextEngine, and welcome to the world of 3D scanning.